and um, and um, I got cards and different things like that. Uh, I want you to turn to First Thessalonians chapter number five. This these two places is not where I'm going to be uh, preaching from tonight, but this, this is where I want to start. And while you're turning to First Thessalonians five and Ephesians chapter number five, also. Um, I need to read a card. It says, with, your, with heartfelt appreciation, I thank my God every time I remember you. Your kindness is so special. That's why thoughts of you are filled with joy and gratitude. Thank you. Words cannot describe how much we appreciate you. Please keep us in your prayers. Much love, Bill and Cindy Coffey. And so we appreciate that. We heard the report. Um, just like what we took care of last month and helping them. And so let's uh, continue uh, to remember them in our prayers and uh, as they're battling some sickness as well. I want to read two verses and just give you a quick thought. And um, I, I don't know if we'll get into really the message that we want to preach or not, but I was thinking about this earlier today. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5. And verse number 18, I want to look at that one verse. Verse number 18, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In, in everything. I, I like to underline parentheses. Maybe you highlight your Bible, but in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now in Ephesians chapter number 5, these are familiar verses, uh, but we're a forgetful people, and so we need to be reminded of them tonight. So Ephesians chapter number 5, we're going to read another verse, reads a lot like that one. Verse number 19, Ephesians 5 and 19, says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things, underline it. Always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I was looking at, I was actually just thinking of these. This is probably more of a, just a devotional. And uh, we'll see what the Lord does with these, with these things here tonight. And we'll kind of keep an eye on time and see. But I, I was thinking about this today. Everybody has been saying... Uh, you probably heard it said, you might have even said it yourself. Uh, everybody's saying, I can't wait till 2020 is over. A lot of posts that you see on the internet and stuff like that are talking about everybody better be getting their, uh, what is it, bald cabbage and uh, black eyed, uh, uh, black -eyed uh, uh, beans or what is it? Beans. Beans. I don't like them. That's why I don't know what they are. But uh, everybody's talking about that and just can't wait for 2020, what a wreck 2020 has been. And truly, and, and listen, we've said it, we preached about it, we talked about it. I, I believe there's been some great valleys uh, in 2020. But I was thinking about this, I'm really thankful for 2020. I really am. You say, preacher, you're crazy. How, how in the world, how in the world could you be thankful? Well, first of all, the two verses that we read says be thankful in everything. Always. In all things. That means in the good times and in the bad times. We need to be thankful. It says be thankful unto who? Be thankful unto God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's who our thanks goes to. And I was, I was just thinking, I, I honestly just wrote some things down. We'll just see what the Lord does with it. But I was thinking the day at work, and, and uh, I got home and was flipping over in my Bible, and, and you say, Preacher, you're crazy. How can you be thankful for 2020 after what a wreck this has been, uh, not only with the pandemic, but with politics and just, just everything? I mean, there's been wild, I mean, there's been some major stuff happening. We don't even think about wildfires in California about burning them up and, you know, all these different things that have been going on. How can you be thankful for 2020. Well, I got the thumbing over in the front of my Bible. I like to make notes uh, about some uh, about dates and stuff like that because I can't remember anything. But there's 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 two dates in my Bible that are written down, and one of them is two two of 2020. You know what happened on two two? That'd be February second of 2020. Lucas 
school and Charlotte got saved on the same day. I'm thankful for 2020. That's why. That's why I'm saying I, I, hey, and, and, and for them, all of their lives, all of their lives, they're going to think about what happened to them in 2020. They ain't going to hang their head. They're like, oh, 2020 was a hard year. Then I, I got, I got, wrote down my Bible. September 16, 2020, a Wednesday night. Anybody know what happened on September 16, 2020? Well, Brother Brady got in. And then Brother Brady got in, and, and we, was, we was rejoicing in that. One got saved and one surrendered. Brother Kenny surrendered on September 16th of 2020. I'm thankful for that. Are you thankful for that? I, I'm sure they can say, hey, these are dates that are going to go with them all of their lives. They don't look back on 2020 and say that was the worst year. That was that was, that was was an awful year. I, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to even think about 2020. I'm thankful for the good things and all things. In fact, I, I, I'll say this. Some of the best services that I've been in in, in the in the seven, what we're going on, eight years that I've been here have been 2020. I'll never forget February 2nd. I'll never forget the Wednesday night of, of, uh, or, of, of September 16th. February 2nd and September 16th. I'll never forget. Those are some of the best services I've been in in my life. I'm honest with you. In fact, there, there's been other services that we've had in 2020. We had a time period where we couldn't gather together and we come back. And you know what? People wasn't afraid to use the altar. I've seen people get help from the Lord. I don't know what he said. What did the Lord do? Hey, I don't know what he did. I've seen people respond to invitations. I've seen people testify. I, I, I truly believe that we have, we have, I believe uh, another reason why I'm thankful for 2020 is I believe that it has given a realization to all of God's people. 2020 has given a realization to all of God's people we're in the last days. Right. We didn't think about it much. Now, I know we've heard it all of our lives, and we've said it all of our lives. Man, we've seen some things happen in 2020 that we look into as Brother Avery went through the book of Revelation while we couldn't, while we couldn't meet and, and, and every time those Sunday school lessons and, and we go through those things and think about those things and say, hey, this thing's lining up for tribulation times. I believe, and I, 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 I hope that you have too. I, I know it has in my life. Brother Worley, it's given me a realization, hey, if I'm going to do anything for God, I better hurry up and do it. I ain't got all my life. We, we may not have next year. Right. Things are lining up. Everything's coming together. And so I think about, I'm thankful for 2020. I believe it's been a wake-up call. Right. Not only for our church, but I think for a lot of God's people. Right. Um, I was thinking about this. I'm, I'm thankful 2020 we was able to uh, see the need to go on the Internet do a YouTube and Facebook page, and, and I know all the evils of the internet, and I know all the evils of Facebook, and I know all the evils of YouTube. But I tell you this, I've listened to more preaching in 2020 than I have in my entire life. Right. Amen. And maybe you have too. I I don't like, I don't know about you. I don't like listening to myself. I, you know, I'm not saying that what I preach isn't good, or I don't think that it's good, or don't think that it's right. I just can't stand it. That, 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 that camera back there makes me sound like a redneck. And I say, uh, all the time. And if, if you'll see all the still pictures on the YouTube page, I'm always doing this, or that, or this. So I can't, when, when, uh, when, when, when we're, uh, it makes me look like a lunatic on those still, still pictures, doesn't it? And maybe Parker said I need to, uh, well, uh, they call it clickbait. Uh, you know, it'd be like, you know, you've seen these videos, it'd be like, 
uh, the craziest preacher in the world or something like that or, or, or the greatest preacher you'll ever hear in your life or something. They call that clickbait. That's what you title it, which I've never titled that. Cause, but anyway, but I, I was thinking about this. You know, I've had more people come up and, and, and not only comment, and some of them comment, but then there's some people that I have no idea is watching them. We have, we have family in Kentucky. Um, I have family that's up in Virginia. Uh, I have a, a, a friend that we do a lot of work for down at Emerald Isle and, and different ones like that. And I've had people call or text or say, hey, I enjoyed the message. I listened to the message. And I'm telling you, that, that's been a blessing. We've had people, as Brother Avery's been doing the Sunday school lessons along on the Internet and stuff like that, uh, people that are not having Sunday school in their churches, are, are watching his Sunday school lessons because the, the literature is the same, so they're able to take their quarterly and go along. They're not, they're not able to, uh, to do that, or they're not doing that. And, and man, I tell you what, I'm thankful for 2020. It, it gave me a, a wake-up call as to what an avenue that that is. Maybe I looked at it in the wrong way for too long a time, but you know what? 2020 woke me up and said, hey, we need to do something. And I, I mean, it's, it's untelling. I mean, you, you don't know. It's a world wide web. You never know where those things end up. So we're very thankful for that. I was thinking about this. I, I, and I'm, one reason I'm thankful for 2020, Brother Nicky, I, I have uh, a, a renewed appreciation for my church of being able to come to church. And God help you if you have not got a renewed appreciation of church. But he's talking about, uh, uh, you know, numbers falling off and people people not coming back to church anymore and stuff like that through all this. I tell you what, there's something wrong with those people. Something ain't right with those people. I, I'm not talking about people that are staying out and, and, and are high risk. And stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that have, have, have left church and are nowhere to be found. No contact or anything like that. I go and, and uh, take uh, CDs to some of these that don't have internet and stuff like that. And every single one of them, man, I tell you what, I miss it. I, I miss it so bad. I miss my church and I miss being there. And I, I miss getting the fellowship and I'm, I miss getting to see everybody. And, I, I, you know, and everybody agrees. Everybody knows this. Hey, it ain't the same. I appreciate being able to watch it at home and I appreciate being able to listen to it on CD, but it ain't the same as being here. There has been a, a newfound appreciation in my life and I, I hope and pray in your life. Hey, I took it for granted for a long time. We just say, we'll come and do as we please. Sit where we want to. Shake with who we want to shake with. Hug who we want to hug. And one of these days, I hope we get back to that. But at the same time, I, I, I appreciate those things more, I believe. Had it not been for 2020, Brother Avery, I might have been all my life not being truly appreciative of the ability, right. talk about the, the ability, the freedom that we have to come to church. So I, I'm thankful for 2020. I, I wrote down, I, I'm thankful, uh, I, I become more appreciative of my church family, of, of understanding just what it is. I don't even know how to put it in words. Just what it is to fellowship. Like I said, I, I, I appreciate the fact we can watch it at home when we're not well. And, and I appreciate, you know, if we have to cancel, I appreciate, uh, you know, now, hey, now we, we don't ever have to miss a service because it snows and the parking lot's icy. We've never let out Sunday. But I, I appreciate that. But I tell you what, there's a longing desire of fellowship with God's people. I, I, there's a newfound appreciation. I, I say this, I probably took you all for granted how much you all meant to me times past before we couldn't meet for a while. Then we, when we got back together, what a blessing it is. And now I'm, I'm just, you know, every day I'm praying, Lord, please, 
Don't let anything happen where we have to cancel, please. I won't be there. And uh, I wrote down that I'm thankful for 2020 because I've spent more time with my family in 2020 than I probably have in, in years past. Well, I mean, the restaurants is closed. I mean, there for a while, if you wasn't essential, you couldn't go anywhere. But I, at least I thought I was essential anyway. <laughs> Went some places. But, but you know, it's, it's different now. Kids aren't going out all the time and hanging out with their friends. and They're not, uh, you know, all the time going to school. You know, they're at home a whole lot more. I mean, some people are like, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to lose it because my kids are at home. But I, I'm thinking, like, man, that's, that's a blessing. More family time. That's a blessing. Maybe 2020 was used in some way to, to help our homes. I'd say this, we probably spent more time around the television with our Bibles open together this year than maybe we have in years past. You know, when we was having to watch services, maybe, maybe, I'm thankful for that. If it wasn't for 2020, we might have just let it skate on out the door. Not spend as much time with one another and just trying to burn both candles at the, uh, uh, both ends of the candle and, you know, Maybe I, I think it slowed everybody down a little bit. Yeah. Now, especially since the time changed, man, I come in after dark and I don't feel like doing nothing, to be honest with you. I get in my recliner and we're all there together. Nobody's, nobody's going anywhere. I appreciate that. I was thinking about in 2020, the Lord's blessed me with a lot of work. I'll just be honest with you. I talked to a real estate agent the other day. He said this has been a record year for them. I know a lot of people buying. Land, you say, well, preacher, that's you know that's superficial. You know, you're. I'm, I'm telling you, busiest we've ever been right now. More calls than we've ever had right now. 2020. Maybe for you it's been a record year. Maybe you've been busier than than ever before. I don't know. That's a blessing. You're able to make more. You're able to give God more. God's supplied everything. God's provided everything. Man, that's a blessing. I'm thankful for 2020. I hope and pray, and I think that we probably all have. We've probably prayed more. We've probably studied more. Dug deeper in our Bibles more when when things are going on in our world that it, it, it can't help but bring up your curiosity into searching God's Word and saying what God's Word says about things that are going on in our day and time. I hope that you pray more and study more, sought the Lord more. I believe we, I believe in 2020 we've had to depend on the Lord more. You know, we talk about it being a battle. Uh, you know, when there's an ease in sign, we tend as Christians not to depend on God very much. But when you're down in the battle, when things are hard and things are different and things are chaotic, you tend to draw a little bit closer. I was thinking about it, I've seen people healed in 2020. We've seen people come through surgeries. My dad, I mean, the episode with, with my dad here just a couple weeks ago, that's still 2020. God did, he did a great thing. Seeing people get good reports uh, and, and ending their cancer treatments. And, and good reports on even checkups. All those different things. I, I'm telling you, I'm thankful for that. I've seen a lot of good, I'm thankful for these things. I've seen some people promote to heaven in 2020. And so have you. I know that losing a loved one is, is not easy. But when you think about they got promoted 
to heaven. I, we, we grieve and we're upset. Man, you can't be upset for them. They've, uh, they've been promoted. So, preacher, can you be thankful? Yeah, you can be thankful for that. No more pain, no more sorrow. Our problem is we're driving our tent pits too deep here. We oftentimes think, I heard a preacher say uh, this week, he said a lot of times we walk around like God's dead and heaven's broke. That's probably what a lot of people are guilty of in 2020. God's not dead and heaven's not broke. Give thanks in all things and everything. I was thinking about this. I've still got a song to sing, 2020. I ain't hung my harp on the willow just yet. Still a song in my heart, a joy in my heart, a peace in my heart. I was thinking about this in 2020. I'm thinking about uh, being in the battle. Sister Ruby made, a, made mention of something the, the other day of, uh, when we were talking about that, and she said, it's, it's in the valley where the Lord teaches you. I say, amen to that. I say, I'll, I'll put it this way. In the valley is when the Lord puts some spiritual meat on your bones. When you're in the valley, you tend to see everything in a different light. You see God's hand moving this way, and you see God's hand moving that way. And you see yourself being drawn into him. And you, and you see yourself drawing closer to him and, and more of a dependency upon him when you're in the valley. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You know what the psalmist said? I'll fear no evil. You know why? Because thou art with me. Let me say this about 2020. He's been with me. He's been with you. 2020. If I say all that to say wasn't so bad, was it? Wasn't so bad, was it? Kind of hate to see it go. Everybody says, well, you know, I could get everything back to normal. Maybe God doesn't want it to be normal again. Maybe normal wasn't really where we needed to be. Maybe God saw us living in normal too long and said, you know what? We'll just see what they really got. I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. I guess that's what I'll type. I'm thankful for 2020. I'll clickbait it that way. It may be like, this preacher's nuts. What is he talking about? But I'm telling you this. I've seen God do some great things. I've seen God move in some people's lives that I was hoping they would get saved, or praying they would get saved, and hoping that they would draw closer, be more dedicated, and I, I've, I've seen it happen. I mean, it's just... It's been it's been great. Amen. And so that's all I have right now. You got anything that you want you want to say? I believe that that's where I will I'll I'll end my part tonight, but um, anybody got anything as far as Thanksgiving? I want to read while you're thinking there. I want to read that one verse again. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God. So what, what's the will of God for my life? He wants you to be a thankful Christian. Instead of walking around with your head hung down, and your lip dragging the ground, and saying, I don't know what's going on. Just be thankful unto him. And so this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Concerning personal verse. That's all I got. Anybody got anything on your heart tonight? Lord, I'm to say you do.